Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would give you another Twisted Disney makeup look since The Lion King is coming out. And it's one of the Disney remakes that I'm actually super excited and stoked to see. So today I'm gonna turn into grown up Simba from The Lion King, my own version of it. I've been seeing so many beautiful beauty makeups of lions around, so I really wanted to recreate my own with the wig and ears and everything. Then I'm gonna do a creepy twist. We're gonna turn into what if he dies and comes back as a zombie with all the grub worms and bugs from the original Lion King spilling out of his face. So this should be super interesting. We'll see if we could do it. And of course, I am not naked. I do have a tube top on, but since I'm just going to be having so much makeup on, it's just easier to not have like regular t-shirts on. Anyways, let's get started, see if we do this. And I'm a little nervous. So I'm gonna put my hair up since we're gonna put a wig on later. I'm gonna put it in a wig cap because I'm gonna have some very long wavy brown hair to look like will be similar and reminiscent to a lion's mane. So we'll see if we can do that. Ugh. And if you see these rashes on my body that looks like I have some sort of disease, it is just an allergic reaction of contact dermatitis for me being allergic to other people's clothing because I borrowed someone else's jacket last night and that was a bad idea and I didn't think about it. <laughs> All right, so we're just gonna wing this. <laughs> I didn't watch anyone's tutorial on how to do this, so I'm just gonna put some white, ooh, I should, no, I don't need to delete my eyebrows. Some white cream paint in certain spots. And I'm getting a booty sponge and just blending it. And now that you're looking like an alien, that means you're doing a good job. <laughs> Now I'm gonna powder this down with translucent setting powder. And I'm gonna go in with a pencil to do the outline of the nose. These are those NYX Fill and Fluff Brow Pencils that I don't use on myself. I'm just gonna use it on stuff like this and body paintings. I'm just doing a little dot to the whiskers. Now I'm just getting some cream blush to do the tip of the, almost a dog, cat's nose. And I'm gonna make the brown around the nose a little darker. Now to do some contour around Simba's face, I'm gonna get some of this cream stick and this brown color to do like some contour. This would be my usual contour bronze shade to contour out my face. And I'm just taking that and doing some brush strokes around the brow bone area and into the temple. We're even gonna do it where like a widow's peak would be and lightly in the center. You want to look like something from Cirque du Soleil, <laughs> if that's possible. And you really want to get in that cheekbone and a little here too, on the sides of the mouth and the bottom as well, where your jawline is. You really want to put some brush strokes in there too. Now I'm just going to get a darker, creamy, chocolatey, dark brown with a paintbrush, just a regular paintbrush. Do some wispy hair-like strokes. Really give some contour and definition to this look, especially around this brow area. So it masks my regular brow and right here heavily because the lion's eye tends to drop down here and have a lot of shadow, especially on Simba on this live action film. I'm gonna get a tinier brush just a pencil brush to do around this since this is a very prominent feature on Simba. Just have fun with this, you know, you don't have to make it look like anything, just like a cat. If you follow your own bone facial structure, this reminds me of back in the day I used to face paint children for carnivals and birthday parties while I was going through college as like a job. Now with some black eyeliner, I'm going to outline the nose. Probably one of the most prominent features on most cats. So I'm just getting that black liner and doing some. I'm just getting some creamy liner to do right here. Powder with more because some powder. Before we're going back in with that brow pencil to do hair strokes, just on certain areas. You want to look like if you had to shave your face, you didn't do it for a while. <laughs> to be honest with you, I have to shave right here sometimes. Just being real. I'm just getting this brown liquid eyeliner from Provision. Just doing more hair strokes. 
Now I'm just gonna get some brown eyeshadow, matte brown eyeshadow, to put in my socket. Getting a little matte black eyeshadow and some white cream paint to just dust it right here. Okay, now we are gonna get our wig. This is my Hermione wig that I hope still works. And I just cut out some paper ears of a lion and put them on a headband. We're just gonna put some hair to cover parts of the hairband. So I hope you guys enjoyed the first part of this video of me turning into Simba Grown from The Lion King. I can't wait to see the movie. Stay tuned for the second part where I'm gonna have bugs crawling out of his mouth. What you think of my Hermione wig for these? I can't wait to have bugs crawling out of my mouth and I feel like that's the first time I've ever said that. If you guys do this version of the Lion King makeup before I turn into the bug-like zombified version, please do it and tag me on Instagram. I would love to see it. It's not that hard, I feel like. So let's get started with the zombified version. All right, so I'm gonna start off by getting some Q-tips with some fake blood. I'm getting gelled thick blood just to lay down like some of the fang grossness coming out and like patches of blood popping through the skin. Before we get drippy blood, I'm gonna get some white aqua paint and I'm gonna start painting the little fang. Now let's start drawing some worms and grubs. Those fat red grubs. I don't know why, but those bugs look delicious to me. Maybe it's the magic of Disney. But I'm gonna do some creepy crawlers, like a green caterpillar. That reminds me of that green fat caterpillar from Bugs Life. That's what we're gonna do. And those fat red grub worms from the movie coming out of the mouth. Have some other bugs up here. Just gonna get some matte black eyeshadow. Certain areas that I want shadow in, dimension. Gonna get some drippy blood all over the bugs because they're coming in and out of the skin. All right, now for some white contact lenses to really set it off. So I hope you guys enjoyed this twisted version of Lion King inspired makeup look of him zombified if grub worms are attacking his face, if he was decaying with his eyes glazed over, bugs crawling out of his skin. I hope you guys enjoyed. All the products I use in this video will be listed down below in the description box as always. You guys could definitely subscribe. I do three videos a week here on YouTube of beauty makeups, creepy fantasy videos, and scary effects videos of creatures and ghouls and goblins and great things. Leave me a comment down below on what other twisted Disney video ideas you would love to see on this channel. I would love to hear them. Thank you guys for the support and so much for watching. I better take a bath, take a cat nap, get all this off. Ah, this was so fun though. Ooh. The best part of making vids is taking it all off. I am so excited to see this movie and I'm scared at the same time because I'm definitely going to cry if I watch the upcoming new Lion King movie because that movie will make anyone cry, in my opinion. Sticky blood in my eyes, oh yeah, let's not get there. Mm -mm -mm. Thank you guys again so much for hanging out. I wish I could hug you all. I can't wait to make more videos for you all this summer and I love you. See you creators, bye. Mwah.